Hello everyone. I hope you're having an outstanding day and I hope that you're following through with all of your plans that you made for today and that it is a productive day. What I want to show you in this video is how to get your files from your purchase to your iPad. There's a few new things going on with the products that are that we carry in the digitally speaking store. So I'm just going to walk you through a purchase that I just made on the website. So as soon as you make your purchase, you'll see order receive. This will be the next page that you come to. You're going to see all the files that come with your purchase. So what I've purchased here was the Cassidy 2019 eye planner um, it is the daily weekly layout is what I purchased okay so you're gonna see several buttons for downloads if you're using good notes you don't have to download all of these files this purchase comes with the daily weekly eye planner in a good notes format and it also comes with a daily weekly PDF format if you're using good notes you don't have to worry about opening up this PDF the PDF is included for those that are using other apps for example I have several users that use the planner in note shelf I have some that are Android users and they're using Zoto and also some set up their planners in OneNote. So that that is where this PDF that that's who this PDF is for. But if you're using GoodNotes, I've got you covered. That's what I use and you have the GoodNotes planner right here. The stickers are also the stickers that come with the planner and then of course all the stickers that come with any of the collections that you may purchase. They are also GoodNotes files and you can see it says GoodNotes stickers here. And the palette. Um, usually the collections and the planners come with the palette so that you can customize your ink in GoodNotes to match your planner or to match your collections that your uh, for your weekly layouts when you theme your layouts with stickers and things like that. Okay, so since I'm a Good Notes user, what I'm going to do is download the eye planner that says Good Notes simply from the website, and I'm on my computer doing this. I'll just tap that, and it's automatically going to download the file and it just did right there there's my file it's downloading as when it completes that blue circle and I have my computer set to download my files to my desktop or my browser is set to download all my files to the desktop okay so I'm going to skip this download because it's the PDF I don't need that and then I'm also, let's see, PDF, I don't need the PDF. The stickers, I'm gonna download the stickers. And here it is downloading. And then I'm gonna also download the Cassidy uh, palette. And that is a PDF. So that's gonna to need to be unzipped. The GoodNote stickers, however, do not need to be unzipped. So, technically, you can check out on your iPad, and from your iPad, tap these, and I'm going to show you that in a minute. You can tap the GoodNote files and put it straight into GoodNotes, because the GoodNote files, although they're a zipped file, they don't have to be unzipped to open them up in GoodNotes. All right, so this is straight from my browser right in my checkout window. If you miss this window as you're checking out, and I've gotten emails from, from a few that have told me that, and they weren't sure where 
their purchase went to, you can go to your account on the Digitally Speaking website. Of course, you need to be logged into your account. And here you will see, once you log into your account, you'll tap Downloads and you'll see everything, all, all your current downloads that are, that are available to you. So here are the per is the purchase that I just made, the Cassidy 2019 Planner. So here's the Good Notes Planner, the PDF Planner, the Good Notes Stickers, and the PDF Palette. So you can also go there to access your downloads. If you don't want to do that, you can go to your email and inside your email, and you can do this from the iPad or you can do this from your computer, and in the email, you will just tap your downloads right from in the email. And here's the links to the downloads right right here. Um, so here's the Good Notes Eye Planner, the PDF Eye Planner, the Good Notes stickers, and the palette. So I'm going to show you real quick on my computer what I'm going to do with these files. And then I'm going to go to my iPad and show you what you could do from your iPad. Okay, so here we are. Here are the files that I just downloaded. I created a folder inside my Dropbox called Import to GoodNotes so that when I am on my iPad, I can just go to this folder from my iPad. And like I told you, the GoodNotes the GoodNotes zipped files do not have to be unzipped. In fact, if you unzip them, they're not going to be able to be imported. So you don't want to unzip the GoodNotes files. So I'm going to place these, the stickers and the eye planner into my folder. Now this PDF, which is the palette, this one does need to be unzipped. So however you whatever you use on your computer to unzip uh, files that's what you would do I'm on a Mac so I can just double click and add the folder to my import to good notes Dropbox folder and I'm gonna delete the zipped file because I don't need it anymore move that to the trash okay so now I'm gonna go to the iPad and I'm gonna show you the ways that you can get this into GoodNotes from your iPad. Okay, so here we are on my iPad. I am logged in to my account on the Digitally Speaking website, and I'm going to go and tap Downloads. And here are all my downloads that are available and active. And I want to scroll down to Cassidy. And here you can see all my downloads from this purchase are, are here. So here is the daily weekly good notes file and the daily weekly PDF file and the GoodNotes stickers and the PDF. So now if I tap this PDF and try to open it straight from the website, it's gonna disappear. It won't import into GoodNotes. The PDFs have to be unzipped before you go. You can't go straight from the download into GoodNotes. However, this is new this year. The GoodNotes file is provided with your purchase. So you don't even need to worry about the PDF. The PDF, like I said, is only included for those that aren't using GoodNotes. All right, so let me show you how, how this works straight from your account. So here I'm going to tap the GoodNotes, tap open, and I can tell it's downloading because of this blue bar up here. And when it's finished, just to be sure that it's the right file, it's the Cassidy Daily Weekly GoodNotes file. Now from here, I can say open in GoodNotes 
or I can tap more and find good notes, uh, the good note icon from there. So I'm just going to tap open in good notes and I'm going to go to my eye planner and I'll go to the 2019 eye planner lineup. So here's the one that I just uploaded and it says two on there because I've got two in the eye planner lineup because all of them are loaded in here. All right, so let's open it and see what it looks like. All right, so there's the cover and some of the custom decorative covers. And two years at a glance, goal planning. Yep, it's all here. Okay, so there's more than one place to get to your downloads on the iPad. So that was one way. That's going to your account on the Digitally Speaking site. Another way to get to your downloads is through the email that you receive. So here's the email that I got after my purchase. And from here, I can also download the product. So let's say that I'm going to go ahead and download the planner. So I'll just download it again. I'll tap the link. I can tell it's downloading because of this blue bar. It's going to take a second because it's a really big file. Well, not that big, but it's bigger than your usual PDF. All right, so here we, we have the same screen that we had when I was on my account. So I'm just going to tap Open in Good Notes. And here I'm going to create a new document because I'm already in a document. And I'm going to put it in the same place, the 2019 lineups. And so here it is. And it says three because I've got three of these in here now. All right, so that's doing it from your email. Now let's go to the folder that I created in my Dropbox and let's try it that way. So I'm going to tap the plus sign. So this is the third way to get your file to GoodNotes. I'm going to tap the plus, import, I'm going to go to Dropbox, and I'm going to find that GoodNotes import folder or import to GoodNotes. Here it is. Now remember what I put in here. I put the two GoodNotes zipped files and I put the unzipped PDF file in here. This one it was the only one since I use GoodNotes that needed to be unzipped. So let's open that up and see what it looks like. And it's the PDF that I want, not the cover. Here it is. All right, simple as that. That's how you would get a PDF into GoodNotes. It has to be unzipped first or the download disappears. All right, so now I'm going to add the GoodNotes file. So I'm gonna tap the plus, import from Dropbox. I'm gonna to go to that same folder, import to GoodNotes. And this time I'm going to import the stickers. That's a good notes file, just like the iPlanner is a good notes file. So I didn't have to unzip it. All I have to do is tap it, and there's the Cassidy stickers that comes with all the Cassidy iPlanners. Now to use these stickers, you just zoom in on what you want. And I want you to see, notice, the clarity. There's no pixelating in these stickers. That's one of the reasons that I deliver them to you in good notes, good note files, and they're not PNGs. PNGs will get fuzzy when you zoom in on them, especially when you lasso. Let me see, let me lasso this one and resize and look at how whoop, look at how clear that is there's no pixelation it doesn't matter how big 
you make that sticker, it stays crystal clear, yet the file is really small. Now you can import PNGs. Now you can import a four megabyte PNG file, but do you know what that, a few, just a few of those in your planner, you know what that's going to do by the end of the year? Your planner will come to a dead halt. So that's why this is new this year that all the stickers that you purchase from Digitally Speaking come as good notes files. They're not PNGs. So now let me show you how to use them. So this is the stickers, the cover sheets. There's only two sheets in this notebook. It's um, the terms of use and then your cover sheet, but the cover sheet actually houses the stickers. So you would just navigate through and choose the sticker that you want. You'll turn your lasso on, lasso it, copy, and then go over to your planner. And let's see, I'll go to one of the monthly layouts and I'll tap and paste and I want this to be as big as that square so I'm going to resize and put it right in there. So that's how you use the Good Notes digitally speaking. One more thing I want to mention is if you get a message that says that you've reached your download limit that's how many times you've tapped the file to try to download it. Even if you unsuccessfully imported it, it still counts as one of your downloads. Uh, naturally, I can reset your downloads for you, but to avoid that, be sure you know which file you're trying to import. Make sure that it's unzipped, if it's one that needs to be unzipped, and uh, before you tap it. Because I know when nothing happens, you tap it again. Nothing happens, you tap it again and again and again. And eventually you reach the download limit uh, for the product on the, on the site. So, And then, like I said, I can reset that for you, but you'll have to wait. And you won't be able to get planning right away. One other thing I want to mention is if you purchase the iPlanner from the Etsy store, you will get one PDF that has all the downloads in it. And that PDF is not zipped. You can just download it and all the links in the PDF are live and will take you to the download. And they're also labeled so that you'll know which ones you're downloading according to what whatever app you're using. So that's it in a nutshell. I just like looking at these stickers close up and the eye planner close up. I just love crisp, clean, sharp lines with no fuzzy, no pixelation. And that is how to get your files to the iPad. Some of the products that are in the store, I'm converting all the products that are in the store and getting rid of all the PNG files. And while, I, while I'm transitioning through that, there are still some PNGs. If you do come across a PNG or if you purchase a PNG from another uh, vendor, I have a video, the older download how to get your files downloaded um, video is still on YouTube and you can watch that and that will explain to you how to get the PNGs to your iPad and onto your planner. So that's it for today iPlanner Pals and I will see you in the next video. Enjoy!